everyone, welcome to Edu News, your number one choice for news in education. We are coming to you from our studio here in East Legon. I'm Ruth Bazing. In the headlines, students who undergo anti corruption and integrity education. Principal calls for leadership skills in teacher training course. On the international front, collapsed high school wall kills six children in Uganda. These and many more coming up shortly. Do stay tuned. Now to our very first story, the National Council for Curriculum Assessment, NACCA, will execute an integrity education for children at the basic and SHS levels as part of the new educational reform. Teachers' manual and facilitators' lesson notes have been prepared, including six part animations to aid instructions. Executive Secretary of the National Council for Curriculum Assessment, Dr. Prince Ama said at a stakeholder review meeting that the module has been pre-tested in five schools without the readers. Dr. Ama added that the need for an anti-corruption integrity enhancing educational model for students at a young age cannot be overemphasized. And moving on, Pepsodent partnered with SOS Children Village to make the 2019 Founders Day a memorable one for the entire student body and teachers. The 2019 Founders Day, held on June 21st, saw 600 children gathering at the school's Azuma Hall for a day full of special activities. As part of the celebration, Pepsodent organized a free dental screening exercise and gave the children the opportunity to experience the virtual reality experience of oral health. Children were also coached by professionals who showed them the correct way to brush their teeth. And principal of the Evangelical Presbyterian College of Education, Dr. Dixon Che, in the whole West District of the Volta region calls for leadership skills to be made a core element of the educational system of teacher trainees. He said when trainee teachers acquire skills in leadership, they will be better placed to mentor pupils and students to become good leaders in future. In a speech read on his behalf at the 8th Student Representative Council Week celebration of the college, he called for game-changing roles to be assigned the trainees to correct and sharpen their skills to prepare them for life endeavors. You are watching Edu News on School World TV. I'll be right back after the break with international news. Do stay tuned. A school can never rise above its quality of teachers. We believe that too. For innovations, creativity, and all kinds of great inventions to take place. It takes the human mind. The only tool that can help develop that human mind is education. Calling all teachers, head teachers, school proprietors, parents, and all education workers for a unique experience. The Global Super Teachers Conference 2019. The grand opening is on Saturday, 24th of August with EduTalk 1 and EduTech exhibition at Ghana International School at 8 a.m. It continues with EduTalk 2. Five days of interactive breakout sessions from Monday, 26th August to Friday, 30th August at the International Training Center, East Legon and ends with the epic EduCom Awards on Saturday, 31st August 2019 at the Holiday Inn, Accra at 5 p.m. Entry is free when you register for the mandatory certificate of 55 Ghana cities before July. To attend, exhibit or sponsor, you can text or call 026-271-4106 now or visit www.globalsuperteacher.com. It is the Global Super Teachers Conference 2019. Get informed, go perform! Welcome back from the break. Now, on the international front, Nigerian Governor Inyesom Wike, in a bid to create access to quality education, has announced the total abolition of all forms of fees and levies in public, primary and secondary schools across River State. He also directed that no principal of any public school in the state should collect fees from students for the West African School Certificate 
or National Examination Council fees. He stated that henceforth, the state government will be sending direct allocations to all primary and secondary schools management for their operations. And in Uganda, six out of eight children who were hit by a collapsed wall near Old Kampala have died. The Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson says the wall collapsed during a heavy downpour, killing six street children on the spot. Two others are currently hospitalized in Mulago Hospital. A survivor of the incident said that they were struggling to find clothing to cover themselves during a downpour when the tragedy occurred. According to him, all children who were asleep at the time were killed. And that's all for Edu News today. But before we go, a recap of our headlines. Students to undergo anti-corruption and integrity education. Principal calls for leadership skills in teacher trainees calls. And on the international front, collapsed high school wall kills six children in Uganda. I'm Ruth Bazing. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Thanks for watching School World TV, brought to you by Neogenics Education Group.